Hello, it's Jason Pave, Cold Banker, Dean Harper Realtors. Once again, I'm coming to a, from the community of Veramendi in New Braunfels, Texas. This is my third Coventry spec home that I'm doing a video tour of, and it's the biggest one of them all. It is 3185 square feet, and as of mid-January 2024, they're asking $599 for it. But of course, that is very negotiable if they want to move these houses. You know, this is a five-bedroom house, three and a half bath. Let's go check it out. Got a beautiful brick all the way around this house. Love this community. Just over there, that's the first house I videoed. And the white one across the street, that was the other one. But there's so much going on in this community, especially the location to everything you want to be at. Downtown New Braunfels and the future growth of this uh, community. You're going to have, you already have an elementary school in here. The middle school is right down the road. And the high school is literally across the street from this community. Uh, there's going to be lots of shops, uh, restaurants, place to go have a nice glass of wine. Uh, there could be lots of parks comparable to Landa Park coming down the road. Anyway, beautiful home. Let's head on inside. Of course, I want you to hit that like button. It really does help out a lot. Really some nice brick. You got the rain glass on this door to give you a little nice sense of privacy. But a uh, beautiful home. Love the layout of this house. Right when you come in, you can see how just how wide it is. Super tall ceilings. Right up front in the house, you do have an office. Some nice French doors, plenty of space in the office. And if you've got your desk here, this would be the view of your coming out of your office. I'm prior military, I always have to be facing the door. Those military folks, they'll know what I'm talking about. But uh, here's your powder room from downstairs. So I get, yeah, three and a half bath house. This house does have a formal dining room space. Now, if you're not wanting to have a formal dining room space, you could easily move that light fixture somewhere else, maybe to the other dining room spot, and turn this into a bar or whatever you want to turn this into. But there's lots of nice space in here. You can do whatever you want. Plenty of space along that wall. If you want to build your entertainment center, this is going to be your main living space right here. And this is going to be the big kitchen area. Love the size of this island. And that is a beautiful quartz countertop. There's your spot for your refrigerator. Whirlpool appliances. Let's check out this pantry. All right, kind of an awkward access pantry. I wouldn't say that's the big pantry, but it is a pantry. But a nice uh, countertop gas community, and uh, there's a backsplash, pretty cool design there. Your breakfast nook space, but also can be used as your formal dining room. Lots of light in here. The view from the sink, and that is a beautiful sink, by the way. Single basin, granite composite sink. Love the white cabinets in here, very clean look, and it's already got all the hardware in it. All right, let's head outside. All right, this is gonna have a good sized backyard. And it's not technically a green space, but there's no one right, right on top of you like there are a lot of places in this community. But you do have some higher end apartments being built back behind you. So uh, that's up to you whether you like that or not. But it does come with a beautiful rock wall, uh, full of sprinkler systems that mulch the uh, community new Braunfels only allows builders to put so much mulch in here so you could put the sod in the rest is just bermuda grass and it's sprinklers all the way around so uh nice little space here all right let's head on upstairs because that is a very unique upstairs can't wait to show you. you got four bedrooms all upstairs that's nice little Harry Potter closet underneath the uh, staircase. But love the wrought iron staircase. And this is a pretty cool upstairs. I'm excited to show you guys this. <clears throat> I'm big on symmetry and this house has a lot of it. So you have this big, big space 
here for game room, loft space, you can do whatever you want to with it. But you got these uh, four bedroom, ooh, you got another little game room space or flex space, whatever you want to use it. A little common room area here and a bedroom off to the side. Here's its closet, good size closet. <clears throat> the reason I mentioned symmetry is it's gonna have a lot of the same stuff, except for this loft on the other side. You're gonna have a full bathroom on both sides. I love the dark tile, nice contrasting tile work with the white there, it's pretty cool. And another bedroom over here. No point opening that closet because it's going to be the same as the one we just saw. A little steppy step. Like I said, lots of space in here for the loft. This neat little wrought iron. Showcasing down, I got a power outlet there. So if you want to put an extra lamp or something or a table. And then the other side. More steps going down to these bedrooms. I wouldn't say these are large bedrooms, but it's a pretty good sized closet there. And this side's gonna have its own full bathroom. Very convenient if you've got multiple kiddos. So that's pretty cool. And a little bit bigger bedroom here. With a pretty good sized closet. And we got, you can see the little door there. That's got attic access to it as well. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, let's head on back downstairs. All right, just came downstairs. Let's go check out the master bedroom time. See if it, what this bathroom looks like. All right, we saw that closet. Here is the laundry room. That's a pretty good size laundry room. <clears throat> but it's got access to the garage. All right, looks like a pretty good size two car garage. Got your Let's see, is that two water heaters? Yes, two water heaters, plumb for water softener. They're gonna want you to get your own garage door opener. There's the sprinkler system. All right, now we're heading into the master bedroom. Pretty decent sized master bedroom. Got a little shelf there in front of the windows. And that's gonna be a little bigger shower because it got the shelf in it. But very nicely done. So we can find the light for it. There we go, that's a better look. But you got the dark tile on the grounds with the contrasting with all the white. Dual vanities, little powder room set up. I guess you have to put your little mirror there for that. water closet with the seat down thank you and then your master bedroom closet lots of space in here and the shoe rack behind the door and this is just going to be your standard linen closet yep All right, well, that's gonna wrap up this tour. Let me go ahead and do my wrap up speech. So don't click it off just yet. I'm almost done. All right, glad you're still with me. That's gonna do it for the Coventry House. This is the Granger plan. Once again, 3185 square feet. As of early January, 2024, they're asking 599 for it. But talking to the sales rep, once again, he said he can make some off, makes a, little movement on this house. So uh, definitely if you're interested in this house, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help. 
I'm a local real estate agent that specializes in helping people move to this area. So if you like what I do, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, share these videos with your friends and family, especially if they're considering moving to the Texas Hill Country. All right, take care now. <laughs> Bye.